Hello guys, my name is Devesh and welcome to my channel. In the last tutorial we saw how to install Python on our local machine and in this tutorial we will talk about IDE. But what is an IDE? An IDE is nothing but an integrated development environment or to put it in simple words an IDE is just like a notepad with lot of cool plugins and a debugger. It's a place where you write your Python programs. Some of the most popular available IDEs for Python are PyCharm, Visual Code Studio, Atom, Sublime Text Editor and there are many more. Well, you can use any IDE or editor based upon your comfort with it. In this tutorial, we will, uh, we will be using PyCharm. So let's go to our Chrome browser and search for download PyCharm. Click on the first link. We will download the community version of PyCharm since it is free of cost. Click on the downloaded file. Next. Next. Select all the checkboxes. Install. It's almost 280 MBs of uh, of software so it takes a while to download Okay, here it is done. Let's go to search bar, look for PyCharm, click on it to launch it. Agree, continue. Don't send, no data sharing. And here it is. Good, colorful PyCharm launching for us. Okay, let's create new project. We will also run our first program on this project. I'll name this folder as um, introduction. So there are two options to set the interpreter. One is new environment and other is uh, existing and uh, existing interpreter new environment uh, is the first option is usually for virtual environment which we will talk about in a separate video here we will select existing interpreter and set it to python 38 which we have already downloaded in our last uh, lecture so select system interpreter select python 38 and create Whenever you write any Python program, it has an extension of .py. So let's create one Python file to write our program. And let's name it as my first program. Let's open this file and write print hello world. Now let's run this program. Right click on the center screen select run and here it is hello world 
Well, congratulations. By installing PyCharm and setting up the interpreter, we have successfully configured the environment required for this course. I will see you at the next lecture where we will learn the data types in Python.